A California glass company called View has just raised another $150 million from investors. They come from as far away as New Zealand. So what's the excitement? We're here to find out with the CEO, Rao Malpuri, at the NASDAQ Stock Exchange. I'm Adam Johnson. All right, Rao. Um, fill us in. You call this dynamic glass. It's different from the glass we know. How does it work? Well, dynamic glass is an intelligent glass system for buildings. Um, as the sun and the position of the window are changing throughout the day, this glass system is able to automatically adjust itself in a smart fashion to respond to the needs of the people because the light levels are changing constantly, providing uh, light and views. So wait, there's, there's more than just melted silicon going. Here. Oh yeah, there are ions that are moving within a, uh, a fraction of a hair's distance on a big sheet of glass, but they're connected to electronic systems and with software and your apps, you're able to control it so that you don't have glare and heat and you have view and light all the time. All right, this is fascinating stuff. So in other words, it sounds like you've got a sheet of glass, something in the middle and then another sheet of glass, is that? Yeah, it's works? just like a regular window system that has double or triple pane glass, but we now have this electronic coating that is able to react to the needs of the people by uh, really knowing where the sun is and whether you have cloud cover or not at a given time. It is just like, think about it as photochromic sunglasses, except they're controllable. Got it. Um, so how do the, uh, these ions that are sandwiched in between two sheets of glass, um, how do they know where the sun is and how do they actually function? Yeah, so the good news is for every given window, we know for millennia what the position of the sun is going to be. Okay, so that's the good news. So that's programmed into our system. So the only thing we then need to know is, is there cloud cover or fog or some other way the sun is being obscured? And we have a sensor on top of the building that looks for that and then tells our system what the conditions are. And our system is able to map the location of each of the windows so that they can be individually controlled based on the location of the sun. Ah, so then some sort of um, uh, electromagnetic pulse is sent through the glass and then the ion shift? And it's, that's how they respond? It's, it's a voltage uh, delta, but it's based on electrons. Got it. Uh, uh, this is called electromagnetic glass? It's electrochromatic, electrochromatic glass, chromatic. and we call it dynamic glass, and people have already used uh, terms like smart glass to describe this space. And um, here's the thing. It's been around since the 1960s. Here we are, uh, uh, 2015, 2016. Uh, what took so long to make it commercial? You know, much like solar panels or LED lighting or electric cars, these are not new concepts. So the key to bring them into commercial scale is how you commercialize it. What's the performance, what's the scale, how durable is it, and ultimately what does it cost? And if you can attack those and find ways to draw upon the type of problems the world has solved, and solve these in a unique way, you can bring a commercially viable product, and that's what we've done. You were in the semiconductor business for a long time, where, what is it, what's Moore's Law? You can, uh, uh, you can uh, constantly create faster uh, programming at, at half the cost. Um, What's the cost like for smart glass? Well, the smart glass really, if it's engineered correctly, which is what we've done, the cost increment is, the, is either nothing or very, very little for the benefit that it provides. If you're trying to save costs, the best building is no building at all. If we're, trying to, if we're then going to build a building, let's make it highly functional. And if you think about what happens at the edge of the building, people are always contending with heat and glare issues. We build buildings with lots of window glass. Today we do floor to ceiling glass in big commercial buildings and apartments. But then we obscure it with blinds because we're trying to control the angle and location of the sun. It can be quite frustrating. So what this does is it allows you to have the views all the time. You get rid of those things that people don't like, which are the blinds, and you are thermally and visually comfortable all the time. All right, so if I'm able to eliminate blinds, and in theory I'm able to um, tint the glass so it's darker, I don't let as much heat in, maybe that saves on AC. I mean, is there a cost-benefit analysis you can do here? Yeah, absolutely. It's a, not only a window system that you view through, it's also a shading device, but it's also, we call it molecular air conditioning. You're cutting down the heat from coming in in the first place, so your air conditioner can now be smaller, and it consumes less power. So between the shading and the air conditioning, in many cases, it pays for itself on day one. On day one? You on mean there's one. not like a five-year payout? In other cases, there are paybacks. It depends on the location of the building, the type of windows, and a lot of other factors. But in reality, you're cutting down significant amount of upfront cost, like blinds and air conditioning, that you would have invested. So in. you can actually help a builder save money, and you can also provide a, a more functional or 
beautiful space. Absolutely, it's, it's all about comfort. Again, we build the building so that we can have people function at a higher level, whether it's an office or a hospital, people are able to be more comfortable. And again, it took, what, 50 years to figure out how to make this commercial? Yeah, there have been lots of people, you know, thousands of people and many, many companies that have attempted this. Again, much like other industries where the concept itself is fantastic, it makes sense. Now, in, some, in many ways, the need has only grown. We're building buildings with bigger windows. Uh, sustainability, energy efficiency have become bigger factors. The world is a smarter, connected world. So these are big, massive macro trends. And so the need is continuing to grow, and yet it takes the right technology for it to be commercially viable. So give me an example of the types of projects that, um, that lend themselves to this kind of Our class. number one segment today is office buildings. You know, uh, in the war for talent, where people are having a tough time hiring talent, retaining talent, um, you know, comfort and productivity associated with that, retention of people, those become much bigger factors today for companies. So not only the head of facilities, the head of HR is involved. There are many cases the CEO is involved in, in glass, deciding. In picking glass? In deciding the, how the space feels and looks because that represents their corporate brand or how they want to treat their employees. So in that context, yeah, dealing with heat and glare issues at the edge of the building and just kind of suck it up and be uncomfortable is no longer acceptable. In other words, let's say I wanted to create a three or four story structure, um, a big central gathering lobby for my building. Um, and I wanted it totally glass, and I wanted to let beautiful views come in. I can do that with your glass, and there'll never be any glare. Absolutely. I mean, the glass will tint all the way down to 1% visible transmission, which means we're able to block 99% of the light, and so you can look pretty much straight into the sun with no clouds and be visually and thermally comfortable. Um, I'm told that um, hospitals are looking at your glass as well. Why? It's because, uh, you know, if, if you look at what hospitals are trying to do today, they're trying to provide uh, better care. If you look at what patients are doing, they're no longer going to the hospital to die. They're going there to live and live better. So, and to heal. And to heal. And so, and studies, scientific studies have shown that exposure to natural light, connection to the outside, have been shown to be better for your well-being. And by extension, uh, studies have shown that you can recover faster. So. Uh, if, you're, if you're creating spaces uh, based on evidence of uh, recovery, design is instructed by what provides better light. And so a window that's more comfortable, you can have a bigger window, you can have more natural light, and yet people keep, uh, keep people comfortable. So GE and Corning Glass, Corning Glass, of course, makes the, uh, the, uh, the Gorilla Glass for the iPhone. They could have been competitors, instead they're investors. How do you win them over? Well, GE is trying to create connectivity between generating power, transmitting power, and certainly usage. And they saw in us a company that is connected to the smart grid. It's able to uh, really uh, control the building in a smart fashion. And as you know, smart buildings are part of the future. In case of Corning, uh, they make electronic grade glass for displays and for fiber, uh, fiber optics. And they've been looking at this space for decades, as have been many glass companies. And uh, they found VIEW to be a very compelling, commercially viable technology. And we have a great partnership with Corning. When you talk about um, compelling, obviously, um, they're looking at returns. Can you uh, uh, tell us about the growth rate for the company, what you're expecting over the next year or two? Yeah, the company is seven years old. Uh, for the last three years, we've been shipping in commercial scale. And this is a market where uh, awareness is very important. It is generally a very risk-averse uh, market. And it's also a very regional market. So we are still building out our capability. And our most important focus right now is to build awareness with the right people. So now that we have some initial installations out there, we've now completed about 170 projects. We have another 100 projects ongoing as we speak. So we're on a pretty steep growth rate. But the more projects we do, the more awareness that builds, and more people get to realize you can build today with smart windows. You know, I'm glad you just said uh, the more awareness, uh, and it has to do with people. I mean, we can talk glass and technology, but it's really about people, isn't it? It's absolutely about people. As I said, I mean, the most uh, functional building is built around the people. And if you're a business, you're not just trying to build a building as an asset. You're trying to get the asset to work for your business. And if you can keep your, keep your employees comfortable, you can create that connection to the outside and people pay for the view, but then some 60% of the windows are covered with blinds. How about let's open that up and have people be connected to the outside? Opening it up here at the uh, NASDAQ market site with the CEO of View Glass, Rao Mopuri.